In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the song select integration to import songs into your database. So on the left hand side I went under content to songs and sheet music here and I'm on the songs list page. Here I want to click new song and if I've set up my song select integration which I can do under config integrations on the left hand side um, I can now click to either create a new song or click to import from song select and if I have multiple song select integrations it might ask me which one I want to import from uh, but uh, yeah if you've only got one it will just skip you straight to the page and here you can see I've got a area now where I can search for my song or sheet music um, so I might search for Amazing Grace and uh, here you can see I can find all of the different Amazing Grace songs and if I tick it over here I can uh, click the button and now go to which select which keys I want to import I can view if that's the correct song and then I can click import and that will import uh, the song into my database if I click my songs uh, I can then see the song in here if I click into it I'll have uh, the sheet music and the keys that I selected as well as the verses and lyrics and all the other information that Song Select provides. Now Fluro also has a number of uh, fields that you may want to add. You may want to add extra information. Um, you can add Spotify songs, music IDs, Apple music IDs, a whole bunch of other information. Um, you can add your own audio files or videos. You can even adjust um, any of the other details as well if you want. Um, but uh, some of that information is not available from the Song Select API. Uh, you may have to type it in or batch edit it yourself in Fluro. Um, as well as uh, if you want to store your own information or you maybe you use different language rather than calling standard structure, you might uh, name it a metronome marking or something else. If you tap the three dots up here, you can also go to uh, configure or edit the song definition. And in here you can add your own fields, change what they're, what they're called, so you can change the, the label, you can rearrange the order of them, the way that they're displayed, even remove fields if you don't want to store that information, um, and create your own version of a song too. And uh, yeah, that's how you use the Song Select API, hopefully that's helpful.